Hi there and welcome to Live Classy with these affordable wine gifts. As the festive season looms ahead, many of us will be running like headless chickens to the stores only to find the best stuff taken and having to fork out more money for the right gifts. Buying wine gifts can be costly and a big flop, but I've got you covered with these tasteful wine gifts that will have people talking. Instead of going for the usual suspects such as prestigious appellations like Champagne and Burgundy that could cost you an arm and a leg, opt for Discovery Wines. A Discovery Wine can be anything out of the ordinary, such as a different varietal, a lesser known region or style of wine, or even an unusual region for a specific variety or style of wine. And the second best thing, they could actually be way more affordable. So grab a glass of wine and come join me as we explore some of these Discovery Wine options. <laughs> Champagne has always been hailed as the celebratory drink, but did you know a whopping 360 million glasses of sparkling wine is consumed on New Year's Eve alone in America? That's equivalent to 60 million bottles all in one day. But don't worry, you won't have to fight off the masses who are clamoring to buy the last bottles of champagne and Prosecco because I'm going to be giving you options that the masses will not be looking for. One of the most underrated yet qualitative and best value for money sparkling wine anywhere in the world is Cava. They can be priced as economically as $12 upwards in America and in the EU, especially Spain, from four euros upwards. This is insane from a quality perspective when you compare the prices of Cava and Champagne because they're essentially made the same way, albeit from different grape varietals, and Cava has to be matured on the lease for a minimum of nine months versus Champagne's 15 months. On average, entry-level Champagnes will cost you 16 euros upwards. If you're already a fan of Cava, Freshinet will not be new to you as they are the world's largest Cava producer with more than 100 million bottles produced annually. Because they're so widely available in supermarkets and stores, the perception of premiumization is much lower, albeit the fact that they are a superb value for brand money. So I'd recommend opting for other brands such as Cadorniu, Cava Gilera and Juvier Camps. Whilst I do not recommend that you buy the cheapest cover that you can find if you'd like to look classy, here are some options to consider depending on how much you'd like to spend and because appearances really matter, choose labels that look the part if you can. Instead of a brand marked champagne like Laurent Perrier or America's favourite champagne, Veuve Clicquot, opt for a vintage Reserva or Grand Reserva. Not only are they made from 100% organic grapes, but they also have longer minimum aging requirements than non-vintage champagnes. And if you're not a fan of the toasty aged bread-like aromas of champagne, opt for a cremant from regions that are lesser known such as Jura, Limou or Loire or a South African Method Cat Classic, both of which spend a minimum of nine months on the lease. Did you know that Veuve Clicquot is America's top selling champagne with over 7 million bottles sold in 2021? That's a whopping 20% of total champagne sales attributed to a single brand. At the core of the sparkling empire lies Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton, the world's largest champagne producer, whose other brands Moet Chandon and Dom Perignon have also found immense popularity in the US. If you were planning on splurging on a vintage champagne, opt for an older Grand Reserva, a Cava di Paraje Calificado or a Corpinat. Corpinat is a separate category of sparkling wines, which was once part of the Cava appellation. Just like the Super Tuscans of Italy and the Garage wines of Bordeaux, a group of Cava producers decided to break free of the rigid rules of the Denominación Origen in 2017 in pursuance of their own distinctive styles and higher quality sparkling wines. Comprising of a group of 11 quality driven producers, their exceptional sparkling wines are made from 100% organic grapes hand harvested from their own vineyards with an additional ultra long aged category beyond Grand Reserva of 60 months. Some producers like Brecaredo are well known for their ultra long aged sparkling wines which go beyond the stipulated requirements. Corpinats are priced around $33 upwards in the US and in the EU from 15 euros upwards. The Corpinat movement has influenced the Cava Appellation regulations, 
leading to stricter quality requirements as of 2021, including the use of organic grapes, subzone demarcations, and the introduction of the top tier, Cava di Paraje Calificado, to match the excellence of vintage champagnes. In addition to the minimum aging of 36 months, grapes have to be hand harvested from specific vineyard sites, almost akin to a single vineyard expression, and made exclusively into dry styles. beautiful yet often overlooked pairing to complement a classic turkey feast with chestnut sausage stuffing and cranberry sauce is a decadent high acid sweet wine. It's like the magical combination of salted caramel popcorn, sweet umami salty with a burst of acidity that works like a charm. While Sauterne and Tokai are the classic noble rot regions and typically cost more, here are some of the sweet wine regions that offer great value and quality. Bonazo in the heart of Lyon in the Loire produces exceptional 100% Chenin Blanc sweet wines that have to be hand harvested in successive tries or batches that can take place over a period of days or weeks and may include Botrytis grapes. Chenin Blanc is a versatile super floral grape that has vibrant acidity that simply balances sweetness perfectly. One of the most renowned producers, Chateau de Fessler, happens to deliver directly from their winery to other major EU countries. For a taste of Italy, try out their Passito wines, which are made from Appassimento grapes, which have been partially dried on straw mats or pallets to concentrate their aromas, flavours, sugars and acids before being pressed and fermented. And if you're the type who prefers to leave sweet wines for last to pair with dessert, here are some dry wines that could pair handsomely with a classic turkey feast. If you're a fan of big bad wines, you'll want to try a bottle of Sagrantino di Montefalco. This is the land where red wines dominate. Montefalco is a small historical town in the hills of Umbria with a long history of winemaking. Its indigenous variety, Sagrantino, can be made into dry or passito wines. Sagrantino di Montefalco DOCG wines are made from 100% Sagrantino grapes and the wine has to be matured for a minimum of 37 months, one year of which has to be in barrels. Sagrantino is one of Italy's native grapes that rivals Cabernet Sauvignon. It's tiny berries and thick skins, which result in rich, deeply coloured wines that are tannic, yet well-rounded due to the three years plus that they spend ageing, is simply a delight to discover. In the EU, a good bottle can be priced as economically as 20 euros upwards. The wines are complex and opulent with the best versions, still featuring fresh fruit aromas of dark berries and plums, along with hints of dried fruits and some balsamic notes of menthol. And from the extended aging, bouquets of vanilla, coffee and sweet spices, tobacco, leather and even chocolate. From the land of paella and tapas, the Priorat appellation produces some of Spain's biggest, baddest wines. The region's dry, rugged terrain, composed of reddish volcanic soils known as Licorella, imparts a distinct minerality and intensity to the wines, whilst the Mediterranean climate provides ample sunshine and warmth, ensuring optimal ripening of the grapes. The star of these wines that are typically blends is none other than the region's signature grape Garnacha, contributing robust flavours of red and some dark fruits, licorice and spice. Carignan, the second most important red grape, adds ripe red fruits, structure and depth, whilst other varieties in small doses such as Syrah lends floral notes, elegance and finesse. If your preference lies towards softer, rounded textured reds, the blends of Costier de Nîmes and Minervois would be perfect. These two wine appellations are some of the wine world's best kept secrets, producing primarily reds, but also rosés and whites with typical Rhone varieties. With a rich wine history dating to pre-Roman times, Costia de Nîmes remains one of Europe's oldest winemaking regions, boasting over two millennia of winemaking traditions. Located in southern Rhone, its surprisingly cool climate is thanks to the cold Mistral and Mediterranean influences, plus its proximity to the Camargue marshes, perfect for cultivating Syrah grapes. 
Its mosaic of terroirs, characterized by scrublands, rocky soils, and signature grey pebbles, reminiscent of Chateauneuf de Pape's galettes but smaller in size, further contributes to its flourishing winemaking landscape. The region's diverse grape varieties, including Grenache, Syrah, Mourvet, and Carignan, come together to craft vibrant red and rosé blends that characterize the fresh fruit forward character of the region. They are bold and voluptuous white blends that showcase a harmonious blend between minerality and fruitiness are sure to spark lively conversations, making them a perfect alternative for Chardonnay lovers. Viognier, with its vibrant apricot, peach and honeysuckle notes, takes centre stage in white blends and varietal expressions. Grenache Blanc contributes delicate floral notes, refreshing acidity and hints of minerality, whilst Roseanne adds richness, depth, and subtle nutty nuances. Claret, when included, brings a burst of citrusy freshness and a delicate structure to the wine. Entry-level wines start at eight euros upwards, offering fresh fruit forward flavors and a good introduction to the region style. Mid-range wines are priced from 12 euros upwards, showcasing more complexity and structure, often with hints of minerality, spices, and sound aging potential. Domaine Garcia is one of the region's top producers, offering some of the best quality to price ratio wines ever. I simply adore the Fleur de Syrah, which sometimes can go as economically priced as eight euros plus when on sale on Vinatis. Set in the neighboring Languedoc Roussillon region, Minervois bears a resemblance to Costier de Nîmes in terms of wine production, grape varieties, and climate, although it enjoys a significantly warmer climate. Its red wines are renowned for their full-bodied rustic character, characterized by ripe tannins and a rich tapestry of flavors that include black cherries, plums, spice, and the signature Garrigue notes. This French term refers to the blend of wild herbs, flowers, and vegetation that flourishes in the region's scrubland ecosystems, akin to South African, Finbos, and Spanish Chaparro descriptors, which are also found in Californian wines grown in similar environments. Two highly exported wine brands that are known for their high quality and great value are Gerard Bertrand and Domaine Paul Mas. Gerard Bertrand is a charismatic figure whose career started as a rugby player. Today, Gerard Bertrand's wines are one of the most highly exported Languedoc wines, especially in America. He's even collaborated with John Bon Jovi and his son to create their signature rosé, Hampton Waters. This distinctive rosé is readily recognisable by its labels that always feature a woman diving into the water. Domaine Paul Mas is a great example of a winery that is producing high quality wines that are affordable and also being committed to sustainability. Most of their vineyards are certified organic or sustainable and they were named the European Winery of the Year at the 2020 Wine Star Awards. My final discovery wine for this video is none other than Ribera del Duero Whites. Yes, from the land of reds and home to one of Spain's most prestigious wine brands, Vega Sicilia, the addition of white wines to the appellation is relatively new. These wines are primarily made from a local indigenous variety known as Albilo Mayor. Just like Rioja Whites, they come in different styles, from fresh and fruity, which would be good alternatives to Sauvignon Blancs and even Chablis, to richly oaked and mouth-filling wines in their Reserva and Grand Reserva categories. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of Le Classy with these affordable wine gifts. If you're in the EU, there are loads of online sites that would deliver to major EU countries, including from where the wines are produced, of course, probably for a fee. And I'd highly recommend exploring the different wine brands available in the EU because there's an ocean of quality wine producers out here. If you've enjoyed this episode, be sure to let me know and hit the like button. And until our next wine date, Merry Christmas and here's to amazing health.